Well, the first time was pretty exciting because I was with my girlfriend at the time and we didn't really have a, a guide with us, so we found a ladder and climbed up the side of the building and went into a second story window. And once you're in the main hallway of the ward, you're like, wow, this is amazing. And you've got like this gigantic building that you can spend days in just exploring. Well, when I started the project, I initially was drawn to the architecture and photographing the architecture. But then as I, I visited more and more sites and saw more and more patient artifacts, you know, it, it was also to sort of document the spaces before they're gone. They began, the state hospitals began popping up in like the early 1800s. The original designers of the buildings wanted them to be uh, therapeutic for the people who lived in them. That's why they built massive hallways, lots of light, pleasant colors. Each patient had their own room at first, but then once they became overcrowded and underfunded, things started getting really, really difficult and really horrible in a lot of the hospitals. It was sort of an unwritten rule that people just left things the way they found them and didn't take the artifacts, but as I continued to do this, I kind of realized that everybody was taking stuff, and I guess in order to save some of this stuff, I brought it home and um, I'm trying to keep it safe until maybe I can donate it to a museum or, or whatnot. When I come across a particular patient room where there's artifacts left behind, one of the things I like to do is sort of sit in the room and sort of imagine what it was like to, to be a patient in that hospital and not be able to leave. And that's something I don't necessarily enjoy, but I definitely think about when I'm there. I'm, I'm very considerate of the, the, the people who lived there and died there, and it's like I really think about the history of the place. It's, it's actually sort of calming, and it's quiet, and it's, you know, unlike my commercial work where it's like, you know, you've got to get this done now, and you're under a time deadline, and it's peaceful, and it's, it's serene. It's a very pleasant experience for me.